What's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to FOMOTION. Today I want to show you my crypto portfolio and note that the portfolio I'm going to show you I've built it in I think one and a half, two months or whatever and it's not just $200. For me it's quite a lot what I already have and I want to show you what coins I have, what tokens I have, if I stake them, where I stake them and what my goals are to become a crypto millionaire at the end of the year and I know it's a long shot but a man has got a dream. I always think you have to have one realistic goal and one unrealistic goal and try to achieve the unrealistic goal but enough life, les life lessons from a stupid Dutch guy I want to show you my crypto portfolio to show you what I'm currently investing in this is not financial advice of course check out for yourself what you like to invest in but maybe you can get expi as expired expired experience not nah, inspired by me my English sucks. Nice to meet me. Let's check this out. Also, somewhere in this video, I'm gonna ask you a question because I'm doing a giveaway with every video I'll make. And if you get the answer right, I'll send you $35 worth of my own token, the FOMO token, because it's just out there. Links are in the description if you want to participate and if you just wanna win without invest, also, okay, keep watching this video. For now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just subscribe to the channel by the way i will start with the lowest holdings and then work it up to the highest holdings and show you what i have in total and uh during the whole video i'm gonna show you what i'm staking and what i'm doing with my money to you know increase my bag and all these things first thing right here chat token seven dollars like nothing but you know i just I, I bought this back in the day and it went down a bit and you know, I'm just not feeling like selling it. So I'm still having this chat token. It's a meme token. It's a uh, pretty good meme token though. I like the meme token. And um, I think this is one that will last. Maybe not, but $7, like, I don't care, man. Then Poodle, this is the first meme token I have ever bought. And Poodle, yeah, you know, $88 loss. Now I have $25. I'm not a big fan of Poodle but um yeah I, I just don't feel like selling it like what i get 25 dollars maybe if they ever do a good job i at least get my initial uh you know investment back and otherwise i have lost 25 extra dollars so i don't really care about that what is poodle it's just a mean token um deflationary you know the stuff but they're one of the first so that's a really nice thing but yeah nothing too special as well then i got me some shibats all meme tokens by now but the lowest holding you know I, I'm not going to put hundreds or thousand dollars okay maybe hundreds but not thousands of dollars into a meme token I don't want to do that this is Shiba I got $36 I ever bought it for a friend he said yeah can you buy me some Shiba and uh, later he asked for the money back so I, I just gave him the money and I kept Shiba I feel like maybe Shiba ever goes like crazy and then I have some nice profits for now um, you know I don't have too much right here $36 I made a profit of $2 uh, in total well nothing too crazy but you know it's a profit so I like it's okay it cost me $33 well whatever cool Shiba I think Shiba could be one of those meme tokens that in the future might be really uh, worth a lot next is d hive i got 55 dollars into d hive and it was a lot more because now it's sitting at 75 cents and it ever was when it launched i think it was like 18 dollars or so and i have like uh 70 73 i participated in the ico of uh of the hive and i thought it was going to do a great job um you could buy this for 250 per coin but i don't know the hive it's an uh it's like it's an index i think it's like uh What's the DeFi Pulse Index? I don't know if you're familiar with that. DeHive is trying to do the same thing. Mainnet isn't out yet, so it might go up a bit. Uh, might go up way more, to be honest. But for now, DeHive has just been declining all the way. The highest price is not even listed on CoinMarketCap. But I don't know. I think that DeHive, if they pull it off what they are trying to do, they could do a great job. But for now, DeHive is not making me happy. I got $128 that I lost with DeHive. Really too bad, but also I'm not selling this because 
then you know why why should i sell this if this is my loss so i'm just gonna wait until the hive does anything and if it doesn't then i lose another 55 dollars can live with that my next holding reef reef finance my 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 little mistake little mistake not really little mistake because now i am in profits but pff, reef man i talked about reef in the past and i liked reef and i was shilling reef and uh, at a certain point at the beginning of my well i'm, I'm in crypto since 2013 but I, I i quit a while and i started back this year and reef at a certain point i was all in reef because i thought reef is going to do major stuff because the project it's insane and they uh, should release their mainnet and now the mainnet is released and it just with every good news reef has the price somehow declines it's so crazy and i just don't like the death very much denko it's its name um at least not liking him isn't isn't right but I, I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable with him because he's not transparent man he is not uh he's not the deaf like i like devs like charles hoskinson he's out there and with reef you if if some if, if you don't know anything you have to ask and you have to hope that you get an answer and i don't know but reef yeah maybe i don't know it's uh, ranked whatever what is it at the moment why do i see the rank right here 189 it was at the top 100 for a while reef did like five cents for a while and now it's sitting at 1.5 cents yeah it's very sad maybe it goes back up it already has a 200 million market cap so it's not like nothing but i don't know reef is uh, not growing with the uh when when they when when something good happens and i don't know what it takes for reef to do something but um this doesn't seem right i think i think i bought it way higher at three cents or so so i'm not i'm not selling this then 3s trias trias i don't know <laughs> but um big loss with this one <laughs> 54 percent loss with trias i trias in in holland you say trias trias sounds sounds good right trias i'm just gonna call this trias but whatever yeah four dollars and eighty cents eighteen cents um if you ex ask ask to me what trias is i have no idea it's so technical but all i know is that trias could do good things because i'm only reading and hearing and seeing great things about this but i don't have a lot but i bought it for nine dollars and now it's sitting at four dollars so also for this one goes i'm not selling it also because i think this could at least go back to its all-time high and if it does that's very nice because check this out it was sitting at thirty dollars thirty one dollars well i like that i have like uh 23 of these things so that's a good six hundred dollars if it goes back to its all-time high and when the market really starts being bullish again i think it will military finance um another uh yeah you know meme token well it's not even actually a meme token these guys uh who made this token are veterans and they're donating to veteran charity um and they're actually doing it they, their marketing is insane this is one of the most crazy meme tokens i have ever seen when it comes to marketing so i bought some um and i have a nice profit because i bought it for uh this price and now it's you know it doubled i have 104 percent profit on it and i already took out my supply uh, my initial uh, investment and i don't know why i i don't keep track of what i'm buying and selling with what price at coin gecko so the transactions are not you know relevant but um yeah i already took back my uh, investment and this is what i have left 186 dollars worth of military finance and i think they could do a crazy job because this is the price where it's sitting right now could go back up to here won't be surprised if that happens if it does another 10x and the market cap doesn't show right here but all i know this is low cap as hell so yes i'm really happy to uh, be a part of this my next holding uniswap 214 dollars in uniswap i have 15 50 dollars profit so that's 30 percent um i bought it for an average of 17 dollars and it's now sitting at 22 dollars i think uniswap 
could go at least to a hundred dollars this year because or maybe not this year it depends because i think once ethereum 2.0 comes out people are starting to use uniswap more and more now it's all about pancake swap and that will stay for a while i'm definitely believing in that and i'm coming back to my cake holdings as well but for now uniswap i think uniswap is a great buy and i really want to get more um but for now it's 14 percent up uh, not the best time to buy it of course if you look at the chart uh, this is the day chart the week chart is looking good you know I'm not gonna buy it right here if you look at the the month chart it's also pretty high if there ever comes a market correction for Bitcoin and everything that comes along with it and it goes back down to around this level I'm definitely buying more Uniswap as well I think I want to have at least a thousand dollars in uniswap um, for this year next holding 289 dollars kucoin kucoin i love kucoin and it did great today today it had a pump this video is not coming out at the day um, i'm shooting it but the 6th of uh not the yeah the 6th of july KuCoin had a major rise and everything had a rise but KuCoin had a major rise and um, I just believe in KuCoin um, I have some profits with it 53% profit with KuCoin I didn't buy enough not by far and I want to have more KuCoin because I'm ho holding it on the KuCoin exchange and if you hold it there for the people who don't know if you hold this on the KuCoin exchange you can get a bonus every day um, so if you hold like 100 KuCoin let me just show you this by the way 100 KuCoin if you hold it on their exchange every day you get 0.0019 KuCoin in return that's around two cents and it doesn't sound like a lot like you know uh, two cents every day that's not a lot yeah um it's free money i, I don't want to complain about that plus if you get more and more and more kucoin every dip these hundred will grow and it's interest on interest on interest so i really like that as well so i'm just holding kucoin for the long run also i um read somewhere in their telegram group that kucoin is somewhere this year planning to start their own smart chain so just like ethereum does just just like bnb does kucoin wants to do the same thing and i like it because kucoin is basically uh, the exchange i love the kucoin exchange it's basically just copying what binance does and it does a great job as well so i think KuCoin could go way higher. So even if it's not for the interest you get on it, if you get 100 KuCoin right now, it costs you around $1,100. I think you'll get $11,000 one day in return. And um, I don't nearly have enough KuCoin. I have um, 26. I want to get more, but also not right now, because if you look at the chart, this is the day chart alone. It started with $8.40 and it's all the way up to $11. $11. But if you look right here, the all time high was CoinGecko is not showing, but the all time high was $20 now it came back to six dollars and now it's back to eleven dollars and i'm really curious to see what's going to happen with kucoin in the future next 358 dollars i have sitting in peachfolio and peachfolio is a new token with a great project because or with a great product because they are building an app to track DeFi tokens so you can trace your DeFi portfolio so if you go to PancakeSwap and you buy a new token that just has been released not listed on CoinGecko not listed in Blockfolio not listed anywhere you can keep track of them at Peachfolio and therefore I really like Peachfolio and I invested in the token itself as well um i have invested 274 dollars and now uh that's not too long ago and i already have a uh profit of 30 percent, so that's 83 dollars so i'm now having 358 dollars sitting at peachfolio and i think peachfolio could do crazy things because this right here is very low cap if you look at this it started 22 june went all the way down to like here and now it's 3x and yeah it's not even you know it's just the start so i'm really curious to see what happens i think this this could be these you know a 100x coin now the holdings are increasing this is swaps you may have never heard of it i have 362 dollars sitting in swaps 
and I made some pretty good profits with this because as you can see I have a profit of $465 that's because I bought more I bought for $552 worth of swaps and then I sold $655 worth of, of swaps and this is what I have left so it did a nice 3x and um, now I'm in for free and also I really like it because now it's sitting pretty low as well because I sold this at 12 cents I think now that's not true I sold this at 9 cents but it touched the 12 cents what is swaps swaps is a new decentralized exchange just like pancake swap but you don't have to set your slip it all of it so you don't have to pay these crazy fees and I really like that now I'm staking my swaps as well I stake them right here at staking.swaps.app I have 5800 swaps right here and I'm not really Really sure what I'm getting and return you can learn more right here you go to a medium article I think they just going to um, they will share a full 1 million swap staking reward pool so I'm getting a piece of these 1 million swaps I have no clue how much it will be um, it depends on how much you have sitting in here and it depends on how much stakers there are there are 1121 stakers at the moment I have no idea it's staking for a week and I uh, it should end any day now and I, I'm just gonna see what what happens but I think swaps is so good so let me just hold swaps for a while get back to it later and I already have some profit so this is all profit if I lose it all now it doesn't even matter the list goes on and on and on now I have VeChain <laughs> I have a big portfolio and I think of it I have so much different tokens whatever I have $383 sitting in VeChain I have $5 profit yeah <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. VeChain, it's just a great project. I don't know what to tell you about VeChain. Go check out VeChain. Um, um, I have VeChain on Binance. So I'm getting uh, VTOR, I thought, was it? In return, uh, every month. It's also a way of staking. And VeChain, uh, it's already a very big project. A 5 billion market cap. But I think this could go way higher. VeChain is definitely a project I believe in. And if you look at the price right now and where it was, this goes for every crypto at the moment. I mean, uh, the crypto market is down. And if Bitgo Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. So, But yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, I bought one Bitcoin. Look at this. Crazy. Nah, it's not. It's just... But VeChain, yeah, I'm definitely holding my VeChain and if the market dips uh, ever, um, I think I will get some more VeChain as well because my portfolio, you're gonna laugh because if you look at my top holdings, my portfolio isn't spread out as at all. It, it sucks. Then I have Bitcoin and Bitcoin, $384 sitting at Bitcoin. Yeah, way too less. I mean, I want to have at least one Bitcoin by the end of the year. And I don't know if that's doable. If I, I mean, one Bitcoin at the end of the year may be doable, but uh, I also want a lot of other things. And all these things combined may not be doable though. But yeah, I, I, I don't have a good portfolio when it comes to Bitcoin. Um, I bought it like I have some profits. Yay, $12, cool. But you know, um, I have to uh, spread out my portfolio more if I look at this. Then BSC pad. I have some BSC pad and I always talk about my losses and my profit though, but th this doesn't, it's not correct because like I said, sometimes I, I remove a transaction and then add it again and uh, without even buying it, but that's because I got some extra from staking or whatever. Um, but BSC pad, if you don't know BSC pad, check this out. BSC pad is a place where you can stake your BSC pad and um, depends depending on how much BSC pad you have you can participate in IDOs and pre-sales and all these things so it will show you the projects that are coming and you need a certain amount of BSC pad to participate in this and you can stake your BSC pad as well and what I'm doing I'm going to PancakeSwap I'll stake my cake there for BSC pad and the BSC pad I'll get 
I'll put back into this right here. And I bought some, of course. But so I'm also staking my BSC pad. So I'm f first farming it or whatever you want to call it. And then I'll stake the BSC pad right here. And I want to have at least a thousand because then I can participate in these uh, IDOs and all, uh, all these things. So BSC pad, when it comes to my price prediction, I have no idea. Might be good, might not be good. I know it's, um, you know, far from its all time high. It's sitting at 80 cents all-time high was more than six dollars so if it goes back to that you know 8x whatever it's very nice then ada carano of course i have this i bought it sorry i bought it first at 50 cents you can see it here it was uh, sooner um sold it for 60 cents i think <laughs> but ada i have 446 dollars sitting in cardano right now and even though it's already one of the biggest tokens uh or coins sorry out there i think this could be way bigger with the africa deal coming charles hoskinson just being a great dude i think a 20 dollars cardano one day i'm not saying this year and um, i'm not saying i'm right though but I won't be that surprised if it ever happens. And therefore, I just would like to have some ADA. I don't have a lot. I have 313. Um, but I'm not feeling like buying with this current price at the moment. Maybe it's stupid if I don't buy it right now. Because, you know, it's doing pretty okay already. But it's far from its all-time high. Because it really had a major breakout right here. But if you look at where it came from, like 3 cents. And now sitting at $1.40. I'm like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to buy this right now. But I'm at least having some already. And I'm staking this at my Binance account. So you can... Can go to binance you can press staking and you won't get a lot i think 20 percent apy if you confirm it uh compare it to what your bank gives you it's a lot of course but if you compare it to other crypto projects 20 percent isn't that much but you know free cardano why not it's good i like it i want to hold this for a long time then a um shit coin meme token however you want to call it safe moon i have 514 dollars sitting in safe moon i have some loss this is accurate by the way i bought it for this price and now it's sitting right here whatever i lost 40 dollars will be okay um i think safe moon is one uh you know it's it's a uh, shit coin that has proven to be legit and i like it and therefore I, I i can sleep at night and just have my safe moon i won't go all in on it i won't go all in on anything but i think you know may i don't know i don't care man i just gonna hold this for five six years and it's deflationary i never adjusted the fact that i have more tokens by now whatever it's deflationary who knows what it's worth in five years maybe nothing maybe a lot i don't know once i start to get some profits i just sell my uh you know you know my investment um if it ever does at times two and i think it will one day then i at least have my initial investment back and then i'm okay i'm okay with it next cake monster 533 dollars sitting into it right now i bought this amount for 688 dollars and then it gave me a great profit so i sold almost half of it and now it's still worth 533 dollars so i am you know uh, not having my initial investment back yet but i took some profits um and i have 253 profit jesus 253 dollars profit in total on this token and cake monster if you haven't heard about cake monster dude go check it out i love it cake monster the website is awesome the graphics are one of the best i've ever seen the deflationary part is the most original creative i have ever seen because you can get cake in return once in a while you can go to the website and you can claim some cake i'm still figuring out how it works exactly if you um you can check out other people right here and if you if you you can uh sell their cake monster if they're inactive and if you do that 95 percent goes to them and five percent goes to you so that's a great way to get inactive people out of there as well and there is just so much to do right here i just love it um i think this is one to hold for a long while and um cake monster could be really nice because this is 
oh, this this is so low cap this is still so low cap if you look at the chart by the way yeah the chart is looking really healthy it's been new it's a market cap of five million dollars and i think this is such an original concept and cake monster could, could do crazy things so i'm really happy to have some uh, cake monster in my portfolio as well gonna hold it for a while just gonna take my initial investment back once in a while and then i'm just you know we'll see what happens next hydra what is hydra i have no idea i just bought it <laughs> i just this is a stupid buy i bought um one thousand dollars one thousand and sixty eight dollars worth of hydra without knowing what it is this was the most stupid purchase i ever did now it's worth seven hundred and forty dollars so i've lost uh more than three hundred dollars with it i bought this because i saw i wanted to stake something at kucoin and this was the biggest apy and that's the reason I bought this. Kids don't do this at home, but maybe it will be all okay. Plus I'm staking it. So in a year I have a uh, double of the, the coins, of course. Um, and if the price stays the same, I'm happy because then I doubled my money. And if Hydra ever gets back to its all time high draw, then i have a lot more profit so i don't know i'm not just i'm just gonna keep it especially now when i have lost i'm not gonna sell this i don't feel like selling anything that gave me losses then 758 dollars in binance ethereum staking binance ethereum staking so this is just ethereum but i'm staking this on binance for ethereum 2.0 i wanted to lock my ethereum i wanted to say to myself you have to hold but i don't know how this is the way this is the way all right cool 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 so i have some ethereum right here why do i have my ethereum right here well i think ethereum is going to be awesome once ethereum 2.0 comes out i think i think really remember this video one day you will see a twenty thousand dollars ethereum and not less and you're looking at this video you see two thousand dollars and you'll be like why didn't i buy ethereum back then you want to slap yourself like god damn it but it's too late my friend it's too late now I I, th I really think Ethereum is going to be worth a lot. I have $100 profits on my staked Ethereum already, um, and that's not from staking, just the amount uh, I bought it for. So that's a, a nice thing as well. Then I have $932 sitting in XRP. I never bought XRP until a few days ago. Why did I buy XRP? XRP is always the conversation of the day. People hate it, people love it, but there's all always there people always talking about XRP. It's always about XRP. So I think bad news is news as well. And um, I don't even think XRP is bad though. I like it. I like it. So XRP um you know people don't like it because uh, it's a centralized uh, i don't care i don't care centralized decentralized uh gender centralized just give me profit though i don't care what xrp is going to do uh when it comes to the product let me be honest man i just want to make money i'm in crypto to make money nothing else than that so yeah xrp plus it's sitting far from its all-time high xrp has proven to be 30 dollars um uh, what? what do i say that three dollars it has proven to be three dollars take a look at this it was the last bull run you know it was more than three dollars i think it will be possible for xrp to at least go back to that point and once it does i have a nice profit my top five coins right now fourteen hundred and four dollars sitting in polkadex polkadex is a new decentralized exchange it's like uniswap pancake swap combined and better I don't know it's like it's like they're doing a super saiyan fusion or whatever it's go get that swap i have no idea why i love it so much i have pretty big losses but i don't care i really don't care i'm staking this at kucoin by the way you could stake this at kucoin if you don't have an account on kucoin really go to the link in the description and make an account on kucoin it's very simple and you can get pokedex right there uh, before it gets listed on binance you might want to get it there because i think it does one day and you know pokedex i love it 
I have 111 Pokedex. Uh, my goal was to have at least a thousand, but that's uh, pretty expensive. So um, I have to uh, be happy with 100 for now. Pokedex, I love it. I think that Pokedex could be sky high. If you look at this, the market cap $22 million right now. If you compare this to Uniswap or to uh, PancakeSwap, this is so low. But on the other hand, and let me get this straight by the way once all the coins are out there there will be a market cap of 200 million dollars because the circulating supply is way lower than the total supply but even then polkadex has a big chance to do at least a 10 20x at least easy and for now once these tokens are not or these coins are not even out there yet 100x won't be that unthinkable with Pokedex. The mainnet isn't out yet. It's ranked 612. This could be not even a top 100 coin. This could be a top 15 co 50 coin. I, I swear, I kid you not. I really like it. I'm really bullish on this. And I think this is going to happen. If you look at the price chart, is this a good time to, to buy? Yes. Come on, look at this. It's crazy. It was like, okay, 35, $40 one day. It doesn't even say anything. The mainnet isn't even out yet. I could talk about it. It has no use. I think this uh, $12 Pokedex, <laughs> same with Ethereum. One day you look at this video and you'll be like, damn, I wish I bought it. I wish I listened to full motion. There's no financial advice, but buy Pokedex. Nah, it's, but it's great. I love it. Therefore, I have invested $1,800 in it. Um, these $1,800 could make me uh, 100k one day. I really think that. Then the fourth biggest holding, Ethereum. I have uh, $2,574 sitting in Ethereum, not staked Ethereum. Why not? I have no idea why not. Maybe I just have to do that, by the way, because, you know, um, I want to hold this. I already explained to you why I love Ethereum so much. Ethereum 2.0. I think also that Bitcoin is now so market leading. I think Ethereum will uh, surpass that one day. I think, you know, for now, Bitcoin is gold. Ethereum is silver. OK, maybe it stays uh, stays that way. But I also won't be surprised if Ethereum one day gets the market cap that Bitcoin has. Ethereum right now has a $260 billion market cap and it's crazy. But Bitcoin has, I think, five times as high or so. And that's do doable for Ethereum. I mean, it's faster, it's cheaper, it's better. You can build shit on it. You can, uh, I love it, man. My Top three holding is BNB. Um, I don't have this much BNB at the moment anymore. I had like way more, but felt like going all into a coin. And I, I especially had it because you could participate at lunch pads and lunch pools on Binance, but they not giving profits. I mean, it used to be profitable. But the latest I, I participated in, Clay and uh, I don't know, another one. <laughs> this was just a few cents every day for a $3,000 investment. And um, of course it's nice, but crypto could give you better uh, returns. So, but BNB, I love BNB. Why do I love BNB? Come on, do I have to explain it? You need BNB for everything you have to do on PancakeSwap. If you build your own token, if you buy other tokens, you also have to use BNB. And I see BNB at least go to a thousand dollars within the next bull run. And I kid you not, that's the starting price for BNB. So I have 8.7 BNB right now. Yeah, I at least want to have 20, 30 BNB. But yeah, I, I want to have 100 BNB, of course. But to be realistic, 20, 30 BNB by the end of the year. Let's go for that. My second biggest holding, dollars. <laughs> $5,322 at the moment. Why? Well, because the crypto market uh, crap. <laughs> crypto market crap. Uh, crypto market went up, went down. And now we're, you know, stagnating a little in the middle. And it, I really, it could go both ways, to be honest. And if it goes up, I want to have some tokens, some coins, some whatever, everything I just showed you, and then I make profits. 
If it goes down though, I don't want to cry because I lose my money. I want to have some dollars to buy stuff with. So I have $5,000 sitting in BUSD. Um, so if it ever, if something goes down, I can just buy it. So I can sleep at night and if it dips, if it peaks, I don't care. Um, I'm happy with both things. And this is the most comforting way for me to be in crypto. And since I'm doing this, I'm really, I'm feeling not, not so much stress when I'm in crypto. Crypto gave me a lot of stress. And since, since I have a quite good bag of dollars, I, I'm not feeling it. So um, I recommend you, like again, not financial advice, but I recommend you thinking about getting some dollars um, when something is uh, at a high price. Just sell a bit and just stack your dollars. My biggest holding, cake, I have $7,979 sitting in cake. And I have some profits. I don't know, this is not accurate, but I do have some quite good profits with cake. Why do I have so much in cake? Well, few reasons. I think reason number one, cake at least this year could go back to its all time high. Depends on the total market, I know, but it's now $15 or so. If it goes back to well, $42, let's say $45, it does it times three. Um, it did that before, so this is very doable. If it does that with my $8,000, I'm very happy, of course. Also, cake, you know, pancake swap is so popular at the moment, and the longer it takes for Ethereum 2.0 to come out, you know, Uniswap will be used by then, of course, more and more and more. But in the meantime, BNB, cake, all these things, I don't know, I see a great benefit for these tokens or for these coins. So I think a $100 cake this year might be pretty doable. A $200 cake ever, you know, uh, the tokenomics suck a little bit, but it's so popular and they burn a lot. And I don't know, cake could do crazy things. And I have a lot sitting in cake right here. Also, I'm staking it at different places and I'm gonna show you because I have some cake, the main cake. Okay, let me show you with the smallest right here. Um, I have some cake sitting right here. Red Finance, um, Red Finance, this is uh, Planet Finance and here you can stake your cake for a 155, 55, 55, 55 percent APY and you get aqua in return. And I'm just started doing this and I already have $2.50. I have $1,000 worth of cake right here, 66.9 cake. So it means that after one year, I should have $1,500 worth of aqua, current aqua pri uh, price in return. Um, I really like that. Also, I have some cake sitting at Pancake Swap, at the pool at Pancake Swap. And I'm here having the BSC pad. Like I said, I'm staking my cake right here. 96 cake I have sitting in the BSC pad. These BSC pads I get, and then I'm staking them at BSC pad, uh, the website, so that I get more of these as well. And the main thing where I have my cake sitting is the auto cake pool. And the auto cake pool, I have 367 cake that's worth more than $5,000 because they give you a return of 104% uh, APY. So this means that I get $5,500, let's round it up to $100, $5,500 after a year worth of cake um, with the current cake price. So I get 367 cake. Well, if cake ever gets one to $100, then that's more than $36,000 that I get for just staking. Plus what I already have right here. So I think cake could make me pretty sick gains. Now, what do I have in total? At the moment, I have $26,832 sitting in my crypto portfolio. Plus some tokens, by the way, that are not listed on CoinGecko that I bought on PancakeSwap. So maybe a few hundred or a thousand dollars more than that, but let's say $27,000. I built this portfolio in, I think, two months or so. So um, therefore I think, you know, a quarter of 100K I'm having in two months, I could make it to $100,000 by the end of the year. 
maybe maybe totally not maybe everything goes to shit could happen i don't know uh we'll see but for now my portfolio is doing pretty good you know crypto this day at least maybe in a few days when you see this you'll be like ha, you should have sold by then everything was high now we're all working at mcdonald's yeah could be bro but for now I have a 24 hours portfolio change of 4%. 4% is already $1,153. So yeah, that's a really nice thing. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, you know, green candles all the way. So that's my crypto portfolio. And also for the giveaway, if you want to win some money, answer me this question. How many Poodle tokens do I have exactly? You could have seen it in the beginning of the video. So go check it out and let me know uh, how much it is. I'm asking this question so I know you're still watching this. And if you do, I want to reward you. So leave a comment and I'll pick one lucky winner that wins $35 worth of FOMO tokens. Sorry for the long ass video. I'm uh, pretty tired right now. But I also just got my vaccine, so I'm, so, I'm, I'm I suck anyway right now. But I love my portfolio. Um, it's not spread out very good, you know. <laughs> a lot of cake, uh, not a lot of Bitcoin, whatever. If you have any advice, like, hey, look into this. You should get this. This is a good token. This is a good coin. You should uh, sell this. You should buy more of these. Whatever. Let me know. I'm open to anything. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, but you do love these videos, I want to make another video about this in I don't know a couple of weeks maybe to see how much it is by then if you're curious just subscribe ah miss just subscribe to the channel so you don't want miss out on anything if you like this video bro like this video and if you have an opinion about something leave a comment for now i want to thank you very much for watching and goodbye